Hello and welcome back. Today's video is all about birds and specifically the European Robin. So how is this relevant to guitarists and musicians, I hear you ask? Well, stick around and I will explain my thoughts on using music as language for communication purposes, song, call and response, thinking about tempo and thinking about pitch. And lastly, perhaps you will go on to hear the language of birds and perhaps it will inspire you in some small way, perhaps sharpen your ear and make you more aware of sound itself. So keep watching, like and subscribe. This is Everything Guitar. Birds. You see different varieties, and specifically the European robin. They feed, they sing, or do they? Can they communicate? How do we perceive their sound? Are we listening at the correct speed and pitch? For a musician, these questions are important, because as musicians, we're thinking about conveying a message. Now how we convey that message is sometimes down to genre, sometimes down to lyrics, sometimes down to the speed and the mood of the music, the instrumentation, the texture. But by listening to birds, I've noticed some very interesting things, specifically about this particular robin and the way it interacts. Initially, I started to put food out for it. But then what I started to do, when I heard it singing, I'd gathered a few recordings and I started to notice some patterns. I've since noticed that the smaller birds seem to speak to one another. So the robin here calls out and waits for a response from another robin that seems to be in another territory, but still within hearing distance. Now, call and response is something that you hear in especially early blues, and you can hear like, you know, heave ho songs where a leader will sing something and the group will sing something back so work songs and that sort of thing you obviously hear it in other music where you get a theme in classical music and you might get a response so there's a question and answer and then i started thinking about some other aspects the song is in short bursts, like a short verse, and then there's a pause. And usually I would observe the pitch and the speed and wonder, you know, how would you write this down? A, 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 G sharp, B flat. One, two. Da, ta, ka, da, 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 da. We're hearing an octave displacement around the note A going to G sharp, going to B flat, down the octave. Now there is a relation here to the composer Messian, and he was interested in birdsong. And he would write some aspects of the bird song out and use them in his compositions. Well, that's the end of part one. Part two will be winging its way over to you soon. Let me know in the comments section below if you found this video interesting, if it helps you to branch out and it's given you something to peck at. Thanks very much for watching and 
I'll see you in the next video.